week six pick um, so, bum, 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 bum. YouTube is it going? The goat house is back with our weekly pick show here every Tuesday night. I'm Riz. That's Pigskin, the Hall of Famer. That's Junior, also the Hall of Famer. Right. This is your leaderboard down here. Pulling away. Someone is going to have to do something here. Someone's going to have to do something. And then over here, I am always get turned around. Over here, X-Sub League, we got a couple standouts there so far. The winner of Week 5 was Edward Blackman. His picks will be in today's video. So if you win the week in that league, you're in the next video. Your picks in the video. Exciting stuff. The comments, la the comments last week, somebody called me a peckerhead, and I laughed very hard at that. What does that mean? Uh, <laughs> I actually almost – I had I told the graphics guy, see how it says my name, Riz, right here? I almost had him switch it to peckerhead instead of Riz, but I'm like, yeah, YouTube probably would crack down on that, so I better not. But I, I laugh at comments like that. Well, I think it was because I said – because Pete was interrupting me, and I was like, Pete, quit interrupting me, and somebody commented, he got – the guy in the middle got mad about getting interrupted, but he's always interrupting everyone else. And somebody commented, yeah, he's a peckerhead. So I laughed out loud. Those comments I like. The comments I don't like is the whining every week. Oh, you hate my team, you stupid idiot. Quit the – We got to pick a team. All right, let's get into those picks. We got the Seahawks home wearing those uh, – allegedly wearing those throwbacks against the 49ers. Both teams stunk it up last week. Mm -hmm. To say the least, uh, well, the Niners played well for a majority of the, majority of that game, but just let it slip away to those Cardinals. It was similar to that Rams game, and Seattle lost to the Giants, and the Giants were missing neighbors and Singletary, so that was pretty tough. But Seattle at home, prime time. That's usually a deadly combo. The Niners are typically very good at home. Somebody's got to bounce back. I think it's a pretty good game. Someone's got to win. Someone's got to win. We have to pick a team. We, we have, have to, to pick a we, team, and whatever team we don't pick, the fans go, oh, you hate my team <laughs> so much. Who wants to win the NFC West? I mean, it seems like nobody wants to win the NFC West. Niners. Come on. The Niners are still winning the NFC yeah. West. They're going to get healthier. They're still talented. It's – the Seahawks lost because they're – I don't know if they're bad in general, but they were just plain and simple bad in that game. Not that the Niners were good, but very fixable stuff going on there. What I do worry about is the pass rush other than Bosa, and that could be a problem in this game because Seattle, a big reason they lost is because the Giants' defensive line, led by Dexter Lawrence, a problem. Believe it or not, I know it's hard to believe, the Giants' defensive line is much better than the 49ers' offense – or, excuse me, defensive line is much better than the 49ers' defensive line. So – Maybe the Seahawks don't have that problem present in this game. So the offense, which was explosive for most of the year besides one game, could go crazy because the Niners' defense isn't what it used to be. So Seahawks, can, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, actually. I think the Seahawks' defense kind of came back down to earth, even though they got a good defensive coach. But I still believe the offense is explosive as long as they don't play a great defensive line. They're not this week, believe it or not. I think the Niners' primetime football – they keep beating the Seahawks. They're on a roll beating the Seahawks as well, and they figure it out in a high-scoring, close game here. Give me the Niners. I'm taking the Niners, too. I just think that there's a better team here. I, they got to they gotta go on a run. we got to see them start winning ball games, no matter who's who's hurt, who's playing. That's what the good teams do. Um, and I think the Niners win the division. So, you know, what about that 12th man, though? That's The jerseys and the Are 12th man it? effects do scare me. I don't I'm know. not going to lie. I said it. <clears throat> I said it before. The Seahawks again. played the Lions. I was like, I want to see if I want to see if they're for real because like, who did they, they play? They played the Patriots. They played who else? Did they played they, they played the Dolphins with Skylar Thompson, and they played someone else pretty bad, I think too. Broncos. Yeah, they played Bo Nix. Broncos uh, are heating up, but that was, heating it up. was Week One though. Yeah, um, and I wanted to see them go against some better competition. They played a pretty good game against the Lions, uh, but you know, losing to the Giants without Malik Neighbors, they didn't have Singletary either. Scares yeah, me a little I bit. I want you closer, my guy. All right, my guy. You're cut Sorry, off Pete. over there. Go ahead, Pete. It scares me a little bit. They lost to the Giants without their, their best player on offense and Daniel Jones at quarterback. So who are you going with, my so guy? I'm going to go with the team I trust more. I'm going to go with the 49ers here. Oh, I was ready to put you over oh. there. Oh, the graphics I was ready. Sorry. Was ready. Everyone's got the Niners. Everybody. Here. I thought this is one of the tougher ones. I mean, I have it to, is. It'll be a good game. There's one game that I'm still like a little iffy on. I I pretty much locked in most of my picks right away. Hopefully, uh, and the guest picker backdoor 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 tickler Edward Blackman. He won the week. Black door. He, he joined us a week last year. I remember as well, at least one week. So he is a certified. 
picker, a certified Taylor. American picker. Whoa. Uh, he is taking the Niners, correct? So yeah. if you win the week in the pick Super Picks League, link down below, you get to have your picks in the next video. So a reason that you can still, it's not too late to join that. And also, a reminder, next video, score predictions, picks against the spread, every single Wednesday, good stuff. Oh, the London game, the Jags and the Bears. Maybe both teams that were a little sus for a little bit are heating up, more so the Bears. They're putting together a little winning streak, and they shellacked the Panthers, their best game of the year, the best game for Caleb Williams, the best game for DJ Moore. The offensive line probably as well. I mean, the Panthers' pass rush is pretty non-existent, but it was their best game for sure. And the Jags, and I, you know, maybe it was a little bold of me to say that maybe they're heating up, but they played pretty well, at least offensively, against the Texans two weeks ago. And the defense did not play well against the Colts last week. It was mainly the fourth quarter, but the offense was awesome. I thought two weeks in a row with that offense being explosive, Christian Kirk, Trevor Lawrence, these guys coming alive, Tank Bigsby coming alive. They have a one-two punch at running back. This is in London. The Jags' second home, if you will. They play there every year. They got another game next week. Maybe they do some damage here. Uh, well, we're going to put Junior over on the Bears. That's right. Same with Dan. I spoke with him oh, earlier. Oh, you talked to Dan. Okay. <laughs> so it's, the, oh, you talked to you, you spoke with him. Yeah, I spoke with him. him, yeah. Head word. Uh, anything else? Uh, well, the we're, Bear- not gonna, we're not going to get a sod report, right? No, no definitely sod not. Report. But, but the Bears are technically home in this game. That's not good. And the Bears are undefeated home. Oh, so let that just they, I, sit. Just take that. But it's not their real home. Yeah, yeah they got a crazy advantage at that sloppy soldier. I don't know. It's it, teams can't play there. It seems, but Bears defense arguably the best in football right now. I mean, yeah, yeah, they're definitely top three, right? If they're not one. So that they're looking good there, and the offense has been stepping up. The Jags again. The offense has been getting going. They haven't saw that seen that Bears defense yet, though. So how will Trevor Lawrence and you know Bigsby's been getting going, Christian Kirk? How will they be against this Bears defense? That is the question. Eleven turn- turnovers. Yeah, um, it's gonna be a good game. The Jags again, they're clicking on offense a little bit more. London's their second home. I remember last year, everyone was like, "Yeah, the Jags might not be good." They go to London, they beat the Buffalo Bills, and then they went on a, sh- a streak, a stretch of looking like one of the very best AFC teams. And they were like, "That team's going to be dangerous." Then they fell apart. Christian Kirk got hurt. They fell apart. Didn't even make the playoffs. They blow it to Pete's Titans the last game of the year. So, is it is it going to repeat the, itself here? Are they going to win in London? and maybe win it next week again and start to go on a streak. Bears, again, picked it up offensively last week. Zero pass rush from the Panthers, so I think that was the key. The Jags' pass rush came alive with Josh Allen and Trayvon Walker last week, and they're running a lot of man coverage. The Bears' last two wins, they played the same exact defense. They played, you know, not that it's an issue, but they played that Rams' defense, a lot of cover four, and then Jero Evero's Panthers' defense where his background is the Rams, so a little bit different. Man coverage could be a little more predictable, but it's a totally different matchup away from Soldier Field. And this is where the Jags heat up. I'm taking Jacksonville. Gut feeling on that one, even though they're the underdogs. Dang it. I was going to take the Jags. You taking them? Yeah, I, I like uh, everything you said already. I mean, they're used to playing there. They play there a lot. Um Brisker's out, Jaquan Brisker's I meant, out. I forgot to mention that. Good point. He's um, look, he looks great. And I was going to say the same thing. The The Panthers' pass rush is non-existent. It's by and, far the worst. Got Josh Allen. Still credits to the Bears for getting Josh better. Allen and Trayvon Walker coming. They're, they're but both, the Jags' defense is a little sus good. right they now, are, too. They are. But they can get pressure. I think it's going to be a close one. I'm going to go with the Jags, though. And they typically stop the run, and the Bears have been getting a little bit better stopping. This is going to be a good game, but – you know Yeller's got the Jags. He's yeah. got the Jags. But backdoor's got you. He's going to give it an old-fashioned split. This Let's is a go. good old-fashioned split. Take the Bears. Game of the week in London. Backdoor, 3-3 three to three here because we have Dan as a guest picker on the Bears game only. And sometimes he shows up in Steelers and Broncos games, apparently. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Power rankings are up. Next video scores. Picks against the spread. Join us. Subscribe to notifications on. Cardinals. Packers. Cardinals are tough to figure out. They look good while they weren't really winning earlier in the year, and then they look like shit against the Commanders, but it turns out the Commanders are one of the juggernauts of football. I don't know. Uh, And the, the Cardinals beat the Niners last week, and the Packers... Pretty underwhelming against the Rams. They did they did find a way to win, but they are pretty underwhelming. Love still a little sloppy. A lot of drop balls. I expected more from Wicks last game. Didn't really. They got Tucker Craft going. Uh, they got someone there for sure. 
Alexander missed two games in a row. We'll see if he'll be back. But Packers are going to heat up at some point. Cardinals are too inconsistent. I think both teams will have a pretty solid day on offense. Xavier McKinney, let's be honest, probably creates a turnover in this game and keeps the streak alive. Uh, the Packers will have success uh, through the air, on the ground, and again, I, I think they'll continue to improve each week. J Josh Jacobs, been, no one's really talking about it. He's been sneaky, really good, like one of the better running backs in football, and people don't really realize that just because he has, what, what does he have, one touchdown this year? Um, he's going to continue to get going even more. So I like the Packers in this one at home. I'm not fully trusting the Cardinals just because that come from behind victory. But the Packers, very sloppy. Like if they play like they did in that game, they'll probably lose to the Cardinals. I think they'd play much better at home here at, at Lambeau. Are you serious? I wouldn't be surprised if they're down at halftime. LaFleur makes some of the best second-half adjustments there, there are in football, but uh, they'll figure it out here. I could also see them winning big in this game. Not saying that I'm necessarily predicting an ass-beating, but I could see it. I'm taking the Packers as well. This could be uh, this could be one of those that I change, kind of basing on some injuries. But Yeah, uh, Alexander's a big one. The Packers' defense with and without him so far, pretty significant. Yeah. I mean, he's one of the better corners in football. So I'll be monitoring it. You'll, monitoring. Be, you'll be monitoring it. I'm going go to the, I'm gonna go out the, the fudge here. You're going fudge? Yeah. Good. At Lambeau. Um, like you said, I think they get going here. I mean, they're, they're a team that we expected to be really good this year, one of the best teams in football. I think, like, they're – even with the mistakes, like Jordan Love makes some, making some silly mistakes, um, all of a sudden, like, the next – you know, one possession he could throw a terrible pick, but the next possession they could just hit a huge play and just get something going instantly. Um, it's just kind of how they are. All right, my guy. What uh, who, what's Yeller got, my guy? He's got the Packers as well, and so does Backdoor. Oh, everybody for the Packers. I thought somebody would go Cardinals I'm, after that hype. I'm thinking about it. They're good. They're better than their record, but you just don't know which team's going to show up. Two up and down. Two up and down. No real pa consistent pass rush. Packers got to go See, Kyler got a partnership with Call of Duty. That's a problem. That's a problem. I'm He's glad you brought more weeks. Yeah, that's true. A little Three distracted, though, watching those uh, videos, pre-launch videos. I don't know. Uh, okay. Oh, now we Peter, are on. Tell us why we should pick the Titans. Yeah, this is the toughest game to pick this why, week, 100%. Why is, the, why is the indie thing, like, gray? Is it got something special or no? What are you talking about? The IND, it looks like it's gray. It's white. Are definitely, you that's definitely white. Are you, is your eye all right? Look at, the, look at the Tennessee one and look at that one. They're the same exact. What? It's definitely white. It's just the backdrop. Pete had a fun what? fact. Pete came down with something last week. What? And his eyes. COVID eye. Yeah, yeah I think he had COVID eye. His eyes Boy. swelled. Swelled? What? Got, it was swollen. Oh, you guys got to come over here. You got to come over here. Uh, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll give when you I, a, When I go over it's, here. I still can tell it's white, but it's, but it's different. It's gray. It's different. It's uh, gray from over here. Well, give him a pass. That's seat, weird. My seat just fell a little bit, too. What's okay. wrong with you, Pete? I don't know I don't who know. to pick in this game. Tell me something, Pete. Tell me something. Yeah, I don't know, know either. Titan. I don't know. Hype the me Titan, up, Pete. The Hype Titans have up. not been very good. I'm, I'm going to persuade you the other way here. Um, they did have a bye week, though. They needed it. Will Levis uh, should be good to go. Put you right Jeffrey there. Simmons should be good to go nah. as well. Um, I don't know. I think, honestly, I think uh, Joe Flacco would give the Colts a better chance right now to, I don't to win know. Games. I don't know about that. Um. I, th I he's clearly was better for the Jags game. There's no way they would put up that many yards, points with Anthony Richardson. But the Titans struggle with Malik Willis running around everywhere. So I I think their defense is built to handle chase, you know, sack, cover, you know, in a Flacco offense. I don't know in, in the typical in run game, but are they suited to handle Richardson running around everywhere? But if he plays injured, Will he run around everywhere? I guess that's the question. That's, and is Jonathan Taylor playing? This is so tough to pick. It's it's tough to pick if I knew who was and wasn't playing, but I interrupted you. I'm the pecker I think the Titans yourself. will be relatively healthy here. I know, Sorry, my guy. It's okay. I know Awuzie is out, um, but Jarvis Brownlee looked really good against the Dolphins. Um, he was my guy. Yeah, he is. He was actually guy. one of my guys. At yeah, he's nice. He's, uh, he's, he's looked good. So, and Sweat looks good. Um, Latham looks good. The draft, Sweat the draft, was one of my the draft, guys. The, the, Titans, draft, the draft class looks good, except I love Cedric, that Gray, draft Cedric class. Gray is getting activated finally. He would, the Titans, out. I think I was like the only person on the planet that liked the Titans draft. And yeah, I, it draft. looks Devondre, Sweat, Cedric Gray. I mean, the old, the Jarvis Brownlee, those were my guys. J.C. Latham, everyone hated him. I love J.C. Latham. I think uh, my guys. Kellyanne, I was listening to him. He just he's 
the way you talked even before the season, like even when you talking about what his time his time with the Bengals, you talked about takes you know the first four games to you know to figure out what your identity is. And I think who hope, said this? Callahan. Callahan said this. Yeah, and hoping that he said he watched the film and like he. I like looked that. at his tendencies and mm-hmm. found out he's got some like mm. some tendencies he's got to work on with his play calling. I think you know, I know it was the Dolphins, but they started to run the ball just a lot and uh, wasn't really having success at first in that game. But then it started getting going. I think they're going to be. That's what's. That's I think what, they're going to be more of a running team uh, moving forward. They and I think be. I think that's going to help Levis out, um, and I think Levis will get more comfortable in the system here. Um, I'm going to go with the Titans just because it's my team, but I, they're they're at home off a of bye week. They're pretty healthy overall. We'll see if Levis is healthy. I mean, it sounds like he should be good to go. But um, Yeah, that's my thing. Cause the Titans started to look good, really good running the ball with Pollard and Spears last game, but the Dolphins' run defense is awful. But the Colts' run defense is awful. So the, Titans, the run game has to be doing something for them to win this game. It has to be effective. We don't know for sure if it's going to be effective. I don't know who's playing for the Colts. I was um, – you might have convinced me with all my guys. and No, but Callahan saying that it kind of takes four games and they had to buy. And that's typically – he's coming from the Bengals. That's typically what happens with the Bengals as well. I don't know if that's related here. Um, and I don't, I don't think I'm Jonathan open. Taylor is going to play, but maybe he will. And the Titans have weapons in the pass game. They have receivers, right? Right? Right. right. And the Colts kind can't of. really <laughs> cover the pass. I mean, Hopkins should I'm be good, Hopkins boys. Is- Ready Ridley. to go because he's he's been playing like I don't know like eighteen snaps a game. What's the Titans' primary coverage right now? I should know the answer to that. What are they running most they of? They're, they're mixing it up. Yeah, they mix it up. They play a lot Covered. of man though. Yeah, they'll play they some man, but and, they'll but they'll switch man. it up and play play some zone as mm. well. Hey, give me the Colts. <sighs> yeah, the Colts dice up the man coverage of the Jags. I yeah, think. I mean it's tough with the Colts. Colts got a lot of receivers, um, but I mean I like our secondary. A lot here, and just worry about our pass rush is the weakness, weak weakest part of our our defense. So they get some interior. The Colts offense line is pretty nice, yeah. though. That's what I worry about. Too much time for Indy to throw, make some plays. That's why I think Flacco would be better against the Titans here rather than Richardson. Colts defense is so unbelievably bad, though. Cut Junior up. What was he? No, say? you're good. You're good. Oh. I just I. My, I just don't know because like we're banking that the Titans get the get this run game going, and that's a lot. I don't know. I just yeah. I think the scrambling QB is just going to kind of throw them off if he plays. And it's Jonathan Taylor playing. That's why it's so tough to pick. This is the only one I'm having trouble with. By the way, who's Yeller going with? He's got the Titans, and back door's got the Colts though. Mm. It's your deciding factor Ooh. here. Deciding factor. I mean, this is one I could switch just because Jonathan Taylor and then who's that quarterback for the Colts, but that might not matter even though it's totally different. Um, He's literally in the middle right I'm now. in the middle. He's a little more right, though. Colts were playing a lot better. <laughs> the la- I'm leaning Colts. <laughs> I'm leaning Colts right now. Uh, I do like that the Titans had a bye, and maybe they're figuring out their identity. They might be able to run all over the Colts in this game. I need to know if Jonathan, if Jonathan Taylor's not playing, maybe I go Titans. I just don't, the Colts want a squeaker with the Steelers. Maybe they figure it out. When did you move? Oh. I mean, Justin Fields threw all over the Colts, so can Will Levis do it? Can he do it? I, I don't know why I can't pick this game. <laughs> I just can't pick it. The Colts are doing really well against the spread. I think they're favored by one in this game. Ooh. I need to know if Jonathan Taylor's playing. Jonathan Taylor here. Jonathan Taylor out. I'm here. All right? So, that's okay. where we're at. Okay, right. I'm sorry. I apologize right. to Goatouse Nation. Just made that up um, out there. But all You're the re- all the rest of the games, I had locked in. Where's Junior? There he is. Uh, locked in for a bit while the last week's games were going on. So, we're locked. We're loaded. Locked. We're ready to go. Okay. Ooh. 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 Oh, I, Drake I, I May. Might. I might. Drake May starting. No, I'm not. Be- tough one for Drake May to come in. Yeah, I don't understand. I just don't understand it. Like, man, like the the Patriots look like a look like a mess. Like, just yeah. I mean, I, I just uh, I don't even know. They're like, bad. Like, Brissett, really bad. Brissett looked terrible. To be honest with you, like I don't I don't really blame the offensive line that much. I know the offensive line's not very good. They let people watch one play where like a nose tackle just came through untouched. Like they just they just let him go through. But I don't know. Brissett looks like he's 
predetermining where he's throwing the ball. He just like looks at one receiver and, and either throws it, takes a sack, or throws it away. And that was your chance to get Drake May in. It was against the Dolphins there to, to, to see how he could do against a banged-up Dolphins team. Now you're throwing him in against the, the Texans here is one the of the Texans better teams. Played. Played. I, I don't know about this. I don't know about these calls here. I'm going with the Texans for sure, though. I think we all are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Maybe Nico Collins going to be out. Jan Show mix in. Yeah. They don't need him. Yeah, they'll be fine. Diggs and Tank Dell. Everybody got Texans, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even back door? Yep. No back door there. Throwbacks for those Patriots. That looks clean up there. It does look nice. But they got to wear the throwbacks and get torch. I think everyone should just go back to the throwbacks, right? Like, what about those Broncos jerseys this past week? Those were just nice. They should just have, like, a throwback year. It's like a time machine like the Vikings, year. The Vikings current jerseys are nice, but their throwbacks are, are sweet. The Bears pretty much already have their like. There's like you know those teams that have their classic jerseys still, like the Packers, the well, Bears, the Cowboys. Yeah, the throwbacks Niners. seem to be cooler, but I think it's because we never actually saw those throwbacks in today's style. They were like baggy, you know, back in the day. I now, guess now it's like they're just so much better though. Everyone's, yeah. I think everyone's throwbacks are better. Like who's got a better current jersey than their? Throwback? Oh, I agree. I definitely like the Jags throwbacks better. The Jags than were nice, yeah. Um, Seahawks are better. I do like. I'm, I'm trying to think. The Bengals. I like the Bengals jerseys now. Oh yeah. Compared to the to their throwbacks, though. I do like the same Bengals. with the Bucks too. Remember the Bucks? Well, the Bucks tried have to, their throwbacks on. You're right, but you remember they tried. Like, oh yeah. The Winston years, they had like the, those were weird, awful. Those are terrible. The Seahawks throwbacks are better. Packers throwbacks are awful. Like the way, like the. Remember the Steelers ones that look like like prison yeah. bumblebees. Look like Bumblebee. Well, I'm saying prison. those guys are original. They're like those are the those are the jerseys they had since. Those had character. Yeah, like the nineties, eighties. Hey, speaking of the Bucks. Oh. Oh, oh nice one, Spencer my guy. Rattler? Yeah. Ooh. So Derek Carr Troy he wants to play, but sounds like he's gonna miss a couple weeks and Did I see he was the he's the top rated quarterback in PFF. PFF? They have a number one quarterback. It's What? Yeah. What? Wait. Give me the Bucks and Baker Mayfield. <laughs> He's gonna take the Bucks and Baker Mayfield. Love me the Bucks. They let me down last week though. Like they they had the game. Kirk Cousins just went bonkers though. Absolutely. Darnell bonkers. Mooney. He had a bad drop, but he was fantastic. Drake London becoming a superstar with Kirk Cousins. All right, we're not talking about the Falcons though. We're talking about the Bucks. Uh, well, yeah, you brought up Darnell Mooney, so. I wish they would have got Bucky Irving going a little bit more. In that game, he fumbled at the end. I they guess. tried. I guess, but uh, I don't like I don't like the splitting of it. Who do you think's better? You think Bucky or Rashad White? I think Rashad White's better. You think so? I liked Bucky a lot at Oregon, I like but Bucky. I think Rashad White's pretty good. Um, okay. Yep. Well, Carr's gonna be out. Doesn't change really anything for me. Hayner came in through some good balls, but Rattler might be the guy. We'll see. I mean, they're just trying to play mind games with the Bucks, but. I can argue both sides here too, because the the Bucks haven't really played a good defense besides the Broncos, and they couldn't move the ball against the Broncos. It was odd because the offense has been great, borderline elite the rest of the weeks, and now they're playing a good defense in the Saints. So, could it be a weird matchup for them? It could be, but the Saints live and die by the run. The run game needs to be working, and they need to be in the game, so the run game is a factor, and the Buccaneers with Vita Vea in there are very solid stopping a run, even though they can't Stout. really even though they can't really stop the pass super well, but they'll find ways to score. They'll stop the run, and they'll take away the Saints' best part of their game. And no matter who was that quarterback, I was picking the Bucks for those reasons. We got uh, Tampa Bay for both here. And but another factor, the Bucks are today. I think they left Tampa because the hurricane, Hurricane mm -hmm. Joe Milton is coming. Mm -hmm. uh, so is that a factor? And another thing, I'm supposed to go to the Keys next week for a wedding. I don't think it's hitting the Keys, but still, that's a little sus. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know. I think it'll be all right. Never been to the Keys, so any suggestions about anything? Let me know in the comments. It's a pain in the ass to get there. You got. I got to fly to Miami. And then you got to fly from Miami to the Keys. It's all right. What am I doing? Uh, nope, this side. Uh, there we go. There we go. Fixed. Sort of. Uh, yeah. It's all right? Yeah. Yeah, you'll be good. Yeah, you'll be good. They had the other option of flying to Charlotte, and that good thing we didn't do that one. Because I think it's a mess over there. But Yeah, you'll be all right. 
Yeah, all right. I don't know how I'm going to do some of the content next week while I'm in the Keys for a wedding. But maybe, maybe one of those planes that like lands in the lands on the water. <laughs> what? That has nothing to do with I. What? You talking about just getting? How do there, they get you to there. the Keys? Yeah, that. It, what is it like a? No, there's an airport. Well, how long is that flight from if, Miami to the Keys? Fifty, fifty, fifty-five. Most of that's probably takeoff and landing. Oh boy, yeah, you're probably gonna be up in the air. It's gonna be nice once we get on that flight, but. I think it's like a three-hour flight, maybe more, to Miami. Miami. And then we have a three-hour layover. That's just terrible. I mean, you might see Mr. 305. Oh, that's a bonus. I'll be on the lookout for him and get back to you. All right. In the Costco, guys. Are they from there? No, they're from New York. (laughs) They're at the game. They're at the the Florida Atlantic game. Oh. Yeah, you just, yeah. Yeah, you you could just get us all over there. The Browns are stinky. It doesn't need to be that bad. Either. I can smell them from here. They're that stinky? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Ed? Big Ed? Big Ed? Yeah, there's no one. No chance. They My God. The Browns. Everyone Eagles, they had a bye. I mean, Hurts has been a little sus without his receivers. But, but they're going to sh- be back. They're going to be back. They have that running game. The entire Browns team is sus. They're going to be fine. They're, you know, yeah, the Browns aren't going to score much. This would be a shocker if the Browns won. But, hey. May, they're maybe about to figure it out at any point. I don't or know. Or maybe the commanders are just juggernauts. Maybe said that, yeah. Maybe. They are. Maybe. Everybody, for the Eagles, as they get healthy, let's see. If they lose to the Browns, is, are we starting to panic? Yeah. Yeah. We're starting to panic a little bit? Yeah. Speaking of the commanders. We already did. We doing it? Oh. We got Ooh, ourselves a, a heavyweight battle. Between Jaden Daniels and the Commanders and Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens, too. It's not a far travel. Not a far (laughs) travel at all. Both Maryland. Both Landover, Maryland, and Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, I wonder if they're bussing. Probably bussing. Bussing. It's going to be a shootout. A lot of offense in this game. It seems to be the way of the Commanders games and the Ravens games. you got two elite athlete quarterbacks that can also sling it on top of being able to scramble and run. We got strong running games. Oh, this is going to be you something. That, you see that one uh, run that Daniels had where, like, he was in the pocket and Owusu Karamo was, like, going right at him and all of a sudden he just, just like, he, yeah, like, he just flew he act, by him. like he didn't see him and, like, Owusu Karamo was, like, ready to just, like, light him up and he just, just slide right steps and just goes. I'm like, oh, my God. How's he doing nuts. it? Yeah, give me the Ravens. Yeah, I'm feeling the Ravens at home as well. I, I just think, think Washington's got to come down to earth a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I want to see. It looks so good, though. I want to see if it's for real here. This is a this is a test. This is the test right here because the Ravens are getting going right now. But the defense is not. But they, the defense is not. That's but, not a but, Ravens defense. But but that offense is getting going. But the Commanders' defense is actually getting going. But they did play the Browns last week. But they looked pretty good against the Cardinals the week before, who have a scrambling quarterback as well. Yeah, but they got Derrick Henry though. Yeah, too. I think Derrick Henry's going to be too. Physical in this one, but uh, it's literally going to be about who can hold the ball longer. I think you got to take the ball if you win that coin toss. You take the ball and you jam it down their throats, and whoever it is, and you try to manage that clock. But it's hard to get both these teams off the field. It seems harder to get the commanders off the field. I, Ravens feel a little different at home, so I'll I'll take them. Derrick Henry being the the slight difference here, and I do think they're more talented on defense. Even though I don't really fully trust either defense in this game. This is in if this was in DC, even though it's not a far travel, maybe I'd pick the Commanders. I saw the spread in this game. I think it's starting to come down, but it's oh, it was at six and a half. I feel like that might be wow. too much. But I, you could I could see a Ravens shellacking. I'm not predicting it, I, but I could see a Commanders close win or a Ravens close win as well. Um, home team in this one, it, but it's going to be about. What if the Commanders just won big? That'd be crazy. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Would not be surprised. Everyone's got the Ravens. Everyone wants the Commanders to prove it here. Prove it. Go ahead. Prove it. Do it. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. (laughs) I can't believe everyone picked the I'm not really surprised. Ravens. Everyone's on the Ravens right now. They squeaked by against the Bengals. but um, That was one where you said, like, is history going to repeat itself? The Bengals usually beat the Ravens. Well, I, th- I thought they were going to do Joe it. Joe Burrow usually beats yeah. the Ravens, and since that's what it is. I thought they were going to do it, and they were close. They had it. They did have it. They had it. Washington fans, you cannot get upset. They're going to get upset. You, you have to upset. prove it. Prove it. You have do to it. prove it. Do, do it. it. 
Oh, oh Chargers and Broncos. The Broncos are hot right now. Altitude. The altitude is a factor, folks. It is a factor. The Chargers are pretty beat up, but they had a bye week. I think some, hopefully all, those guys can come back healthy because the Broncos are fairly healthy. Uh, you know, not too many teams are. So this would be a really good battle, defensive battle. Altitude a factor that much a factor for you guys? Are you doing it? You doing it? Me and Dan are taking the Broncos here. I, oh. I spoke with him by the way. You spoke with him. He's taking Did? the Broncos. He's a, he said he's been a Broncos fan his whole life. Not <laughs> as much as the Bears, but second. Sa- I thought Steelers were second. No, 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 no. Broncos are second. He's also taking the Steelers. And the, we'll get there, but. So All right. Yeah. Game to pick. I, don't know. Uh, I like. I'm. I'm confident Squeaker. with this one. It could go either Squeaker. way. It could come down to a last second field goal. I could be wrong, but I'm just gonna be confident with my pick in this one. But what does Yeller got? He's got the Chargers here. Ooh. Bol- bolting up. What's Ed got? Big Ed. He's got the Broncos. Broncos are hot. They're even getting some offense going. Bo Nix is scrambling. Yeah. Sutton's been a beast. What are you thinking, Pete? You're going uh, Chargers, aren't I, you? I do have the Chargers selected right now. You're going Chargers. I'm gonna go aren't with the you? I'm gonna go with the Bolts here, but I I do worry about the tackles and and Herbert. I think they're gonna are they? I don't know. I got we gotta see how gotta see if Slater and and Joe Alt and are back and Herbert's there too. But I don't know. I just Broncos another team. I I guess they've been hot, but. They gotta play. They gotta play some good competition. I don't know if this is good competition, though, really. But the Chargers are. They do play tough here. Their defense has been playing pretty well. Um, they're gonna pound the rock here. This is. We all could agree. Everyone out there. Everyone in here. My guys. We could agree. My guys. That this is a I defensive guess. game. Right. Very low scoring right. defensive game. And if I know anything about Jim Harbaugh, he lives for these defensive close games, and he wins them. I'm taking the Chargers in this one. Both defenses look legit. Chargers defense really look legit while beat up against the Kansas City Chiefs, so I think they'll have no problem in this game on defense. But I think the Broncos defense will be solid. Uh, offensively, they've been picking it up, but they played – I know the Bucks are really good. Bucks defense, not so much. They played the Jets defense very good, but they only scored 10 points in that game. Uh, and the offense really got going, but it was against the Raiders this week. Not to take anything away from them, they look really, really good. This is a totally different matchup. I mean, the Bucks are better than the Chargers. The Jets, I think, are maybe better than the Chargers, but it's a totally different matchup here. And the Chargers squeak by, figure some things out, the break. The having off the bye is the biggest thing. If they weren't off a bye and they were still a little beat up, probably would be picking Denver in Denver. But I am feeling Harbaugh in the Chargers off feeling the bye Harbaugh. in the in the defensive game. You uh, feeling him, feeling him just like he feels Justin Herbert before the game. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, feeling the Chargers in that one, but that it's going to come down to who has the ball Fired last. Up. And if they fired miss that, up right now, it's probably going to be a game-winning field goal right Start at the end. Them. Pete, that was a good one. He didn't like it, but that <laughs> I like. I liked it. At least you liked it. Yeah, that's that's liked all that it. matters. Steelers, oh, yeah. Raiders. Yeah, we got some. We got some real barn burners here at the end of the end of the slate. Uh, Raiders are one Holy of the biggest crap. disasters in football. The Steelers are starting to fall off a little bit. Was the first few weeks of fluke. They, the Steelers. You said it early, and Steelers fans got mad. They, you know, I know the rest of the schedule is a little easier, but they're getting some breaks on the schedule. And they're losing. And still, I know yeah. the Falcons are tough, but the Falcons were just not ready in Week One. The whole team was new. If they played them again, the the Falcons would dismantle. They would dismantle the Steelers. Come on, they're, I'm we're going to be in trouble after I said that. But <laughs> the, Steelers uh, the Steelers catching the Raiders, and when they're the Peak disaster. Now Christian Wilkins is out. They got the Cowboys last week, who were a tough team, but both star pass rushers out. Cooks comes down with an infection in his leg. Uh, Dak's just giving them gifts in the end zone or down the field, just arm punts, and somehow the Cowboys win. But uh, the Raiders. They had them too, fourth down. The, I still love the Steelers' defense. Uh, they can make plays here and there on offense. They're just they're better in the Raiders, especially when they don't have Wilkins in their disaster. No matter who's at, they don't even know who they want at quarterback. Yeah, I don't think I could take the Raiders. For yeah, the rest Steelers, of the Steelers year. are going to win this game. I'm so, with it. Yeah, same with Dan. Dan, you yeah. talked to Dan. Yep, nice. He's, uh, he's a Steelers guy. Third favorite team. Uh, where, where, Yeller. Where is he? Where's Dan? Did everybody? Uh, everyone's got the Steelers. Ed, here. Big Ed, big backdoor tickler. Even Dan. Yep. Oh, I didn't put Dan up yeah. there. We got, we got a, man, everyone's feeling the Steelers. Wow. Steelers. That's right. After I kind of just ripped them a little bit. Uh, it's all right. It's okay. Just got to prove it. Do it. 
Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Take care of the weak ones here. Yeah, just take care of it. Take care of business here. Oh, the Lions in the Cowboys. The Cowboys are starting to figure it out a little bit. The defense is even playing better. They could not stop anybody to save their lives. Mike Zimmer, legendary defensive coach. Maybe that was a little generous. I think he's, you know, he's unique defensive coach in NFL history. Uh, starting to figure it out. They're starting to stop the run a little bit better. They're starting to run the ball a little bit better. Rico Dowdle, he needed to be their guy the whole time. And they're, they're, they were clutch, even though things it was in the rain. Things weren't going great. Both star pass rushers out. out. Brandon Cook's out. Lamb's got to carry the receivers. You know, Tolbert stepping Tolbert up. Good. Ferguson's a beast. Guys stepping up right now. The Lions were on a bye, which maybe could have cooled them off. And then we look at their last game where it was an exciting shootout against the Seattle Seahawks, and that was great and all for the offense. But I see people saying, well, it looks like the Seahawks aren't that good. So why were the Lions letting up so many points? People were worrying about their defense a little bit, but – so things are trending towards Cowboys, or this at least this being a good game, and I'm telling you, it's not going to be a good game. I'm locking this in as my ass-beating of the week, actually, Ooh. and the Lions are going to roll the Cowboys in Dallas, that rematch of a thriller last year. Cowboys defense is better. Mike Zimmer, love him, doing his thing. They're in for a rude awakening here. They're once I, Again, I do think the defense is better than early in the year. It's not going to look like it in this game, though. I think the Lions very well could have the best offense in football. That run game is going to dominate the Cowboys, and they'll be pretty effective in the air as well. The Lions will be able to score points in this game. Cowboys will score points. C. Lamb will do well. The Lions have an issue stopping slot receivers, so put Lamb in this, who plays outside and in the slot. Put him in the slot as much as you can. He'll do even better. That could be a factor. Cowboys aren't going to be able to run on the Lions, I don't think. But Cowboys will score some points. I just think the Lions are going to score a ridiculous amount. They win by a good amount. Give me Detroit. They're only minus three right now. Is that a trap? Vegas usually knows it's it's you know something, but I, I'm all over that right now. Yeah, I'm taking the Lions as well. Uh, Dallas just seems to play worse at home somehow. I, I just don't Typically get it. not, though, in the regular season, but just this year right now. Yeah, right now, in this moment. Yeah, I'm going on my my team. The Lions is my favorite team in the league. Um, so you did, he did I, switch I, last week during I, the bye. That's why it's okay. If you do it during the bye, you're good. Yeah, about the Lions got the best jerseys in the league. Good switch. Good switch. Just love love the kneecap biting. Uh, everyone's got the Lions here. Wow. All right, everybody, Lions. Cowboys are getting going. They got some momentum last week. Huge Jared Goff guy. Huge <laughs> Goff guy. I'm really not. I mean, no, he's, he's solid. He went but, 18 for 18 in that. No, he's good game. I mean, I'm well, just a I'm huge saying, r- I'm Lions run game. It's impressive. He was perfect. Oh, this damn but, impressive. But damn he, impressive. You didn't even throw the ball. You didn't have to throw the ball 20 times because they just got two studs in the backfield. Another take. Laporte has been a little quiet so far. This game. Going. This game right here. This is the one. Laporte is central, even though it's you know, the run game. Really, I mean, if they play one of these games like they did early in the year, where they just don't run the ball enough, and they have, I mean, they still probably will win. But so they get in trouble though. They got. They got to run the damn ball in this game. Run it. Run. It. Run it. Do Run it. it. Go Do ahead. It. Do it. Uh, all right, everybody. Lions Ooh. guaranteed. I actually Sunday had it as an ass beat. Is this Sunday Night Footy? No. No. Oh. No, it's not. Point. No, it's Sorry, not. What are you talking about, uh, my we're, guy? We're, we're out of order, my Falcons, guy. Panthers, Kirk Cousins went bonkers. So did London Mooney. They all went bonkers. They didn't even have a run game. They still went bonkers. They clutch. They can clutch up. And they can win Bryce football Bryce Young game. got into the game against the Bears That's in right. garbage time. Panthers stink. But let me tell you, it's a much better matchup for the Panthers. I do think the Falcons are the better team than the Bears. So I'm not saying they're playing an easier Whoa. team. Hey, let me finish. They're not – I'm – the Falcons are better. Come on. Whoa. But it's a Whoa. much different team. The Panthers, for them to be able to win games, the offense needs to get going because the offense can get going against the Bears' top defense in football. Not so much. The Falcons' defense, a little sus right now. You can throw on them. You can run on them. The Panthers could do those things against this Falcons' defense. So I actually think the Panthers, I should say it correctly, will score some points, but the Panthers pass rush is one of the worst I've ever seen. Probably the worst I've ever seen in my life, actually. Let's, I'm going to go there. I, I went there. Um, Kirk will have all day. They've been dying to get the running game going. It will get going. Bijan has a breakout game. He scores a touchdown this game. Again, Panthers will score some points. Falcons score more. They win. That's how you do it. They win the game. Yeah, everyone, I don't think, yeah, everyone's no, taking no the take. Falcons. <laughs> I, yeah, I just had to go on that rant that the Panthers might be able to score, and this could be it could be yeah. a, a trap game. Yeah. I, I just think the Falcons are too high powered in this one, but yeah, I think it might be one of those that's like surprising, surprisingly like close, but like like a touchdown, maybe a little more. But you're just like, oh wow, the 
Panthers. Were oh, I definitely close. could see that. Yeah, I might be predicting that. All right. High scoring. Maybe the over. No, no, I gotta take a look Sunday. at it. No, it's Sunday night football. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Sunday night oh, football. The Bengals, who have one <sighs> win despite having one of the very best offenses. I mean, the Burrow, Chase, and Higgins. Bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Chase has been unreal. Both those receivers had two touchdowns apiece. They were going crazy. They probably should have won that game. They probably should have beat the Chiefs. They could have beat the Commanders. Am I missing one in there? All those. I don't know. Uh, the Giants, they keep getting yeah, better. Uh, Chiefs, they're close. Yeah, they should have won that game. Uh, Giants defensive line's legit. They're getting better. Daniel Jones is getting better. They're at home prime time here. Bengals defense is awful. There's probably going to be a lot of scoring in this game. Looking at Bengals games, probably going to be some scoring. Neighbors versus Chase. Neighbors versus Chase. As long as Neighbors plays, I would imagine LSU. he will. Here's the thing, though. The Bengals offense has been getting going, but the Giants defensive line is insane, actually. Dexter Lawrence might be the best defensive player in football right now. Brian Burns, Kayvon Thibodeau. These guys are legit. So the Bengals offense line has actually been playing better than they have in the past, but... Have they seen this defensive line yet? This actually could be something that slows down the Bengals' offense. That I don't really trust the rest of the defense. Not that they don't have any good players anywhere else. they got some good young studs everywhere. But it's that defensive line that could disrupt things there. In the, everybody can move the ball on the Bengals right now. So the Giants definitely have a chance because of that. That's what I'm going to be watching, that defensive line versus the Bengals' improving offensive line. But... We all agree, my guys, everyone out there, we agree that it's going to it's going to be some offense in this game mm-hmm. and it was tough for the Bengals to win in a shootout against teams like the Chiefs, apparently the Commanders and the Ravens. I'm not going to pick Danny Dimes and in what I know will be a shootout, so I will pick the Bengals as I do think they'll get better and better and they are better in their record, but the Giants are sneaky. Stealing everything stealing everything out of my mouth yeah, here. Yeah, you got to say I, everything like that. Yeah. Sorry. Give me the Bengals yeah, too. Yeah, give me the Bengals. I just – that was to say, like, worry about the Bengals off its line. Uh, but they do a nice job, like, getting the ball out quick. Joe Burrow's really good at getting the ball out quick. Um, they've just been on the wrong side of a lot of these close games. I just trust Burrow more than Danny Dimes. If it comes down to it, don't settle for a 50-whatever yard field goal, yeah. Zach Taylor. Your th- the passing game's working. The Ravens Everyone's are got the stop- stopping the run. Don't ice your own goddamn kicker, you idiot. All right, then you got to win. Okay. Win. It might come down to it. Might come down to a last second field goal. So, it might, yeah. Do it. Do it. Go ahead. Do it. Oh, Monday night Monday. football, uh, AFC East battle and don't the forget first, the first coach. We're not done after this game. Oh, we got yeah. Pete's by team first coach of the week. fired. Robert yeah. Sala. <laughs> shit can this morning. That's not what I was expecting. I was not that. expecting it. I thought, you know, if they didn't win a playoff game or two at the yeah. end of the year, oh, he's I, probably I thought, gone. I thought if they I thought if they didn't make the playoffs, he'd be out for Fresh sure. Fresh off of but, London. But I didn't think after five games. Yeah. But that was the easier easier part of the schedule going in. Like, I was predicting the Jets to go start like 6-1, and one, so, so that was off. Uh, but the Vikings end up being better than expected. Broncos, I guess, are better than expected. So you never really know, like, really what's the easier and harder part of the schedule. But I think that's kind of what did it. Like, hey, we expected to be much further along. We, we expected to not choke. Here's, here's a question for you. Do, do you think the offense stinks because of, like, Rodgers, like, calling, like, making these plays and, and, and the audibles? Or do you think it's, do you think it's Hackett? Think or or do you think big mixture? Or do you think it's Todd Downing and Keith Carter from, from the Titans in there on is, the offensive on the offensive These are good staff. questions, my guy. These I think, are really good questions. Right? I think it's a mixture because they do have some bad coaches on the staff still. So I think like still. Rogers sometimes just like like in the in the game against the Vikings, like at the end, like just did you, you just you, like, it wasn't even a back shoulder. It was just like it was just a yeah. a fade thrown. He's like my receiver inside gonna... and low, and Mike Williams not even looking for the ball. Like I think he, I don't know. He just does some stuff that's like he, I mean he he's. He's not washed up, but he's definitely at the point where, in his mind, the ball's going one spot like it always yeah. did. And now that's why these great quarterbacks, it's like Eli Manning we saw it happen to. It's like they did it so well for so long that they're it's like repetitive, like I'm going to do it the same exact way, and it, the ball's not going where they think it's going. So we got a case of that, even though I do think he could still play. Uh, I think the play calling's pretty 
bad. I don't think it was bad in the in the Vikings game though. It was bad in the Broncos game because I thought they abandoned the run too early. But the Vikings are really good stopping a run. They could not run. The run blocking's awful. Morgan Moses apparently is the best offensive lineman in football because the offensive line actually looked pretty decent when he was in there. And now it's awful, the whole thing. And and they have Fashionu in there. Um, the tight end blocking is brutal for them. If you watch watch their tight ends block, especially you know in the running game, it's it's bad. Um, defense can play. I... This is going to be a good game, though. Bills and Jets. Sometimes. I mean, Salah's like a defensive guy, and like the defense has been. Yeah, but he's not even coaching good. the defense. Ulbrich is. Yeah, that's true. But, but he is a good defensive mind. Yeah, it's just funny. He gets he gets canned. Yeah, I was not expecting that. But And the Bills, what a shit show their coaching was at the end of the last game. They played to punt out of their own end zone to give the Texans. It was awful. That was. What was the. Ah, them or McDermott or Taylor? Like, who? which ending was worse? I think mean, the Bills, the actually. The Bills one pissed me off just because I picked them and they blew it. They were coming back. They had it. And yeah, they were they fortunate to be back in that game, though. Uh, so, Texans should have won that game. Uh, they deserved it. They deserved it. Um, Give me the Bills. After all. Even though I think you see this happen a lot where, where a coach will yeah, get fired and yeah. then they get, the team gets a little fire in their gut. Yeah. They, right. So, you're picking they, the Jets. And they come back and they have a little bit, but I just think <laughs> that the uh, – the Jets' it. offense, there's, there's just something wrong. There's this clear miscommunication all around the board, and I just yeah. you need you need an off you need the offense to at least be moving the ball and I, making positive plays. I agree, Junior. That's a good point. I was thinking the same thing. Like the you, you fire a coach, usually it gets you going, but yep. but but the, the guy, like I said, he's a defensive guy. Like this is this is still a problem with the offense. Like yeah, I don't I don't know offense. if it's Rodgers. So you're taking the Bills? Yeah, I don't know if it's Rodgers. I don't know if it's Hackett. I don't know if it's the rest of the coaching staff there. I, I don't know, but they they got some issues. I think they'll. They'll be okay. They'll end up being okay, but like they should be. Like they're they're super talented. The team's team's loaded with talent. Well, I think I talk about it every week because the Bills are a good team. They got one flaw to me, and they cannot stop the run. And this is the Jets' we chance. Get it going. This is the Jets' chance because the Jets can run the ball. It it hasn't really shown recently, but I know they can run the ball. Seems like they don't want to. They're gonna run the ball in this game, and they'll be effective, and they could win because of that. The defense looks really good at slow down the Vikings, the worst Vikings offensive outing yet, because that pass defense very sticky in coverage and get after the quarterback. But I do think you know it's not the Bills' run defense; they're far better than them. But I do think you can run the ball on them. I think Josh Allen, James Cook, get going. Rodgers is clearly beat up, even more beat up after the Vikings game. The offensive line's not playing well. Bills get after him. Bills run the ball very well with Josh Allen and James Cook. Like I said, they do enough to get this win. But the, Josh Allen's due for some turn due due for some turnovers here, and this could be the game against the Jets' pass defense. Bills guys, both teams got to stick to the ground. Uh, Josh Allen's good enough to sling it around, but so I'm not saying don't let him pass. But two people are saying he focus was, on the he ground. Was, uh, he should be in like concussion protocol. He took a yeah, that was tough. That was a. What if all of a sudden they're like, yeah, he's he's. He's in protocol, and all of a sudden he's out. It's like, oh, then we're taking everyone, the Jets. Taking the no Jets. one's taking Trubisky. <laughs> Dan, no, Dan? Dan Wood. Dan, okay. <clears throat> Dan's taken. So he's taking the Bills no matter everyone's what. Everyone's got the Bills, actually. Uh, so. all right, everyone's got the Bills. Uh, it's over. Uh, oh, Pete, the video's just getting started, brother. No, I'm saying like My guy. it's over. You don't have to watch. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. No, it'll be fun to watch. I'll, I'm, I'm going to watch that one. Yeah, it's a nice Monday. Now... Evening. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. Drum roll, please. The graphics guy could be going to hell for this one. Uh You'll see what I'm talking about. What are we getting into here? Pete's bi-week power rankings featuring the Rams, the Vikings, the Chiefs, (laughs) and the Dolphins. And the tiers this week are Pete's bi team of the week. No one's ever got that honor. Good. Are they good? Good, but love to blow leads. A little concussed and very concussed. Okay. Pete, uh, first me and Junior are going to pick. Who wins the bye week? Who actually wins? Who should be in Pete's bye team of the week? Uh, I'm going to go, unless you have one, you jump on. I'm yeah, gonna, I got one. You got you one? Got go one. ahead. I'm going to go with the Dolphins. Um, I think you have a shot at potentially Tua coming back after this bye week, which is a win. Vikings are streaking. You don't want the bye week. Yeah, but they get Hawkinson back, Aaron Jones. But still, up. you're streaking without them. Okay, so okay. the Chiefs have won 11 straight dating back to last year, so they don't want the correct, bye week. Correct, uh, correct. The, the Rams could be. Up it's the between air. the Rams and the yeah. Vikings, uh, the Dolphins. Excuse yep. me, Rams and the Dolphins because the Rams are beat up. They get cut back. They can get Nakua back. They get going. Uh, 
the Dol- yeah, Dolphins are, they're they're pretty much useless without Tua. They like, can make the biggest swing if like they get their guys back. Like the Rams are still playing decent for a team that's banged up. I'm the gonna, Dolphins are a different team. Uh, it's a bold of me, but I think I'm going to disagree. I think most people would agree with you, and you could be right that right, it's fine. the biggest swing. But yeah, Dolphins definitely need Tua. They're missing him more than then the Rams are missing anyone else. But the Dolphins still have problems. They have major problems on defense. They're not going to get any back from the stop the run there. They still have offense line problems. It was a problem for two of the last time we saw him. The Rams, Stafford's playing great. You won't notice it. The receivers are awful. They're going to get star receivers back. They're going to get multiple guys back on offense, defense, possibly. Or get Darius Williams just coming back. Another step towards you know being healthy. The NFC West seems a lot more wide open than we thought. Watch out. For those Rams, I said right away in this video that now the Niners are winning the video, winning winning the the division. I'm actually starting to think the Rams, if they get healthy, stay healthy right now, they could actually do it. They could do it. So I'm gonna pick the Rams winning. Pete, it's your show. My show. So yeah, I mean, you you put the uh, you 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 control the. No, you can control. do whatever you want. You can be <laughs> sneaky. I think last year you were kind of sneaky. Like yeah, sneaky. you thought I was gonna put the team there, but I'm gonna put them here. Well, you know we're gonna take the Chiefs here. We're gonna put them in the good they're category because they're good, and All we're right. sick of we're sick of seeing it. Did you know that Kalen Saunders? Yeah, that was that was sub brother. Do, do you think that's all just scripted it's right there? Like they had a full breakdown. They're like of the Mahomes. Saints nose tackles. Brother is a backup dancer. Did you see this? No. No. Okay. The Chiefs are about to score. They're inside the five yard line, give or take. And Kalen Sanders, Saunders, excuse me, who played for the Chiefs, is on the Saints nose tackle. And they're like Saunders, his brother is a backup dancer for Taylor Swift. And they're showing Taylor Swift. It's this whole breakdown. They're showing pictures. And they're like, who's their brother rooting for? A Kelsey or, or his brother? And that play, after they did this whole breakdown, the 340-pound nose tackle, I might have juiced it a little bit, gets an interception in the end zone and returns at 50 yards the other way. This, not two <laughs> plays later, right when they're done. And it, like they, Joe Buck just got done wrapping it up. And he's like, oh, and there he is. He got the interception. There's, there's, and he's, there's no way, right? It's just, it's it's just script, no way. Scripted. <laughs> scripted. Something's wrong. They're good, though. So you could have put in them and one. you're concussed because what happened there. I don't yeah, know. I was really confused there. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I was just mind blown, but I was like, it's scripted. It's all scripted. What, do you, like, what do you got? What do you got? Uh, you know, the Vikings here. I made a deal you know, for them, but will they go there? Yeah, you, you love – you 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 love putting the Vikings in that spot where they're they're good, but they love to blow leads. They, they just do it. But but they're five and zero oh right now. So Pete, by team of the week. No, they're good. The Vikings are oh, good. Two in the good. But Pete, no matter who their coach is, no matter who their quarterback is, no matter who's on offense, who's on defense, they blow. Even when they win the games, they blow but they leads. Won, but they won. They're but not they blow, won. They're not blowing the lead. But they blew they're the still, lead. They're still leading. Okay. And they win. They're oh, winning. They're true. five fair, and zero. Oh. Fair. See, Kevin, that's, that's Kevin good. McConnell. Man, Kevin O'Connell. I said McConnell. Kevin O'Connell. I was about to call you out on that. And and Brian Flores. Man, those those two are something right now. Those I did not like O'Connell's something. play calling. He refuses to now. run the ball in short yardage. I love this quote. I saw his quote. third and two deep ball. Fourth and two deep ball. No, cut the shit. I don't know what he was on. I love this quote though. He was talking about how uh, young quarterbacks don't fail franchises. Franchises fail young quarterbacks. Mm. It's like. Teams giving up on their young on their on their young quarterbacks too early, not developing them, not going through the growing pain. I have a quote them. for you too. Keep going. Oh, that's all I was gonna say. I just I love that quote. That's like the type of mindset you need from your head coach. If you don't have the juice, you fake the juice until you have the juice. That's oh. that's a good quote of the day. Oh. Is that your own quote? No, I heard that somewhere. I don't know. The where. Dolphins are very concussed. <laughs> like they're just I mean, No, two is coming back soon. Yeah. He's he's still very concussed, I think. I mean, they had to put him on what? the IR. But no, it's just two no. of them. The whole team's very concussed okay. without him. Like I think Mike McDaniel. Won. I think Mike McDaniel's concussed. You know, with without him, he might. I like I think he's just looking at his reaction during the Titans game and then during the Patriots game. It just seems like he's just like what? Like what the hell is going on? Like the with the uh, you see the the snapper put the ball down like late. And then the kicker came and like picked it up and tried to run with oh, it. Yeah, yeah. It was just such. It was just so brutal. <laughs> they won. They, won, they the won the game. I the picked because the Patriots are just terrible. I lone oh, wolf the Texans too. I'm three and zero lone wolves. We didn't have any. I'm this confused. Week, we? The only thing I'm confused on is the little concussed. Did I miss something? Is someone or is that no, just, I, was that just, just for the Dolphins? It kind of matches that. 
The Rams are the beat Rams. up. I thought there was a chance you go little concussed for the Dolphins because it's one player is going to be coming back, and the Rams have a bunch of guys injured, not necessarily concussed. So I thought maybe. I'm putting the Rams in the good category, too. You kind of already said it. Like, yeah, they Mc, just who, lost. Who, to who the, would have known? Who would have thought this McVay tree was, was something here? You got, you got O'Connell over here, McVay. Uh, they, I mean, great coaches over there. Obviously, like the the Rams, we thought we were writing them off after they won the Super Bowl, and then like their whole team just kind of they got rid of a bunch of their players. Like a bunch of their players were tired. Um, they looked like they were gonna go into a rebuild, and you know they're they're back. They're always, they're always competitive. They're they're just again really well coached. Um, me being a football coach and like a football fan as well, watching like some of their scheme stuff, like their motioning receivers. And they're releasing them through through the offensive line, like into routes. They kept doing that with Whittington, and they, he was just wide open. Like the backers were like flowing into their drops, and all of a sudden, like a receiver would sneak out of the line, and they'd be like, "Oh shoot, I got to run back this way." They would just get it to him. Pretty cool stuff from them. If they get healthy, they might do it. Yeah, they might win the NFC no, West. No, no Puka right now. No Cooper Cup. You talked about Darius Williams too. Um, yeah, I don't know how they do it. They trade away. They trade away some of their players. They trade away Ramsey. They trade away. They Ernest, need Aaron Donald. They trade away Ernest Jones, and uh, I mean their defense isn't great, but they're still they're still playing. How's your offense, Pete? Your offense of your team. Oh, the team I coach. Yeah, you. We're running, getting going right you now. Running some of those. We're getting going. Types of schemes. Try to. It's tough to do though. Oh, all right. Well, there, that, it is, there it is though. A lot of a lot of teams in the good right now. Yeah. Wow! And Even Barry though the Rams can, are coming Barry off a losing cross. streak, it's all right. They're they're good. They're gonna be good. They're not really blowing leads, are they? I mean, they're not really. They've been trying to fight back in these games. They're, I feel like they're against the Bears. They were getting in the red zone like crazy, but then they had to settle for field goals. I think they're just missing Cooper Cup and they're missing Puka Nakua so much. Only two bye teams next week: oh. Bears, oh, and Cowboys. Ooh, so the Bears do in London yeah. here. Yep. And yep. the boys got a tough, tough game here against the Lions. Wait, Bears and do. who? Cowboys. That's oh. it. Just two. So I got, we got to come up with some tiers for Pete by then. All right. Been customized each week this year. So switch for it up. For custom. Pete. For Pete. Forever. You thought you didn't. You thought there was gonna be one in each year, but we got a little. I, I little three and one here. You get a couple options. I thought it was different scenarios you could have went with. You did good. I think that, you should that. move the Dolphins like in between like the two there. I think two is like getting. He's like he was very concussed. I think he's. Mm. Uh, I, don't, I think he's still concussed, but he's not in that little concussed part yet. Well, there you go. He's not like full Antonio Brown. There we go. Yeah. Gotcha. What a segment. There is no show quite like this one here at the Goat House. We got you. The next video, I will pick the games again, but against the spread with scores. We already have power rankings up. We got all kinds of picks, predictions to cover in trades. Devonta Adams trade, maybe more trades at the trade deadline. We have you covered. We got you. But uh, anything else? Any other zingers for me, my guys? <laughs> I don't think so. We, lo we love you guys. We love you. Go out to Costco, guys. We love them too. You still you still doing good in the bathroom? Any updates on that? Uh, I was backed up this weekend a little bit. But oh, we, we got back today. Good. We got back, back on track. Back on track. There you go. Well, okay, that's we'll do it then. Thanks everyone for watching. Goodbye. Keep waiting for you guys to say it.